And though you don't believe that they do, they do come true. For did my dreams come true when I looked at you? What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin. And today we're listening to Todd Rundgren again, uh, this time with his song Hello It's Me off of his album Something Anything, which was released in 1972. You all had overwhelmingly uh, said that this was the next song to listen to from Todd. And listen, I enjoyed what I heard last time from Todd. I almost went back and listened to the whole album, but I did not. I resisted every once in a while. I don't. For example, I went back and listened to the next few songs off of uh, the Zombies album, from which uh, Care of Self 44 was on. Sorry, I don't immediately remember the name of the album, but I listened to the next few songs. Listen, I'm probably going to finish the album tonight. <laughs> Which is a fantastic album, by the way. You guys should also check that out. Uh, but yeah, I try to resist sometimes and, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Of course, thank you so much for uh, jumping on to one recommendation. It makes it so much easier when there's one overwhelmingly wanted recommendation. It just makes it so easy to just like pinpoint it and just dive right in. Uh, speaking of diving in, you can join me on Twitter, you can join me in the comments down below. If you'd like, you can donate to the channel, but you don't have to. You can just sit back, relax, and just, just watch the video. Just enjoy the video. That's all I ask. Uh, let's do it. This is Hello, It's Me by Todd Rundgren. <laughs>
That was just perfectly well-constructed soul. I mean, that that's exactly what it was. This was nicely constructed, nicely balanced soul music. That that's this is good. <laughs> I'm ready for more Todd. I'm ready. Yes, let's do more. Um, uh, what do I like about this? First of all, his singing. Yes, that's a standout. I love his singing. Uh, it's just so smooth and relaxing. He has the, he has a perfect soul voice. Uh, the way that it carries emotion, can't fault it. That is amazing. I love the way that the horns uh, slowly threw their hat in the ring in this song. Like, they snuck in. The saxophone snuck in, I believe, after the first chorus. And then, eventually, the trumpets would start to come in a little bit, slowly filling in the gaps that were left in the first half of the song. I like that, because it's almost like... It's almost like they so naturally inserted themselves in the song that you barely noticed they were there until they were, like, really there. Uh, bass work, fantastic. Drumming, I really like the drumming, especially in the beginning. A lot of bass hits, which I like in music. Listen, I'm a 2020 man. I like the bass, can't help it. And so the more kicks you give me, the happier man I'm going to be. So just the way that the drummer was playing was just so snappy and poppy. Uh, drums by John Siomos. Mm. Listen to that bass movement in the back here. Mm, that is groovy. I like that a lot. Listen to this though. Ooh, just a little. I love, love, love how apps. I absolutely love how after the chorus, saxophone just just literally peeks around the curtain, says hello, like kind of coming in around the corner there. And then as soon as like the saxophone gets like a, a few seconds, the female harmonies come back in to fill that air. Ooh, just providing that nice soulful like velvety feel around you and I love that because the 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 saxophone is played by Michael Brecker Michael okay I just really quickly look at like who he's played with in a few things listen he's played with Miles Davis Charles Mingus Pat Metheny uh, Steely Dan Pistorius uh, Herbie Hancock Joni Mitchell Funkadelic <laughs> that is quite uh, the rapport if I've heard one. The balance and the sound and the harmony between the saxophone and the female harmonies, it's just so sweet. It just sounds so delicate. Like I said, I mean, it really feels like this nice blanket is just being wrapped around you and it feels so comforting and warm. Okay, that little falsetto, I wanna say that's Todd coming in with the falsetto on that beginning uh, note right there, but listen, that reminds me of like real like soul music, like the stylistics. I don't know if you guys know the stylistics, but listen, I love the stylistics. And the way that he's singing there reminds me of like when they were singing like that falsetto voice and starts off high, brings it back down a little bit. That is so cool. That's something that hits me like in my nostalgic levels, right? That this is the type of music that I would grow up around. And honestly, some parts of this song sound familiar, but I don't know if that's necessarily because I've heard this song growing up or if it's just because of the soul bass derivative that it kind of has. And I don't know if that's like, you know, they're so common of a sound of that era that it just kind of coalesces in my mind and comes together. I'm not sure, but regardless, it sounds great. And going back to the backing vocals, I like how they work with Todd only in certain areas. So like, for example, in the third verse, they back him up as he says, think of me. You know that I'd be with you if I could. But then they drop out and just allow Todd to give space and to sing in a space. And the effect that that has in the song is just this really nice dynamic that you often find like between a verse and a chorus, but within the verse itself, to me, is something very special. Allowing more space for Todd, the piano, the bass. And those horns, those very atmospheric horns that, like I said, you don't even notice them right away. But they're there. The way he brings it down? This is a very, very good break. To link between the chorus and what comes after. The way the organ rips out of there and comes out? And the song ends with a nice jam that everybody kind of gets in on. Uh, piano, of course, the vocals once again from the females in the back, uh, the, the bass work, the drumming. Yeah, everybody kind of goes off on the end there. This is just a really nice song. I mean, 
I don't think it's like the most interesting song in the world, but can I tell you, it's an enjoyable little song. I enjoy this. The lyrics. Hello, it's me. I've thought about us for a long, long time. Maybe I think too much, but something's wrong. There's something here that doesn't last too long. Maybe I shouldn't think of you as mine. Seeing you or seeing anything as much as I do you, I take for granted that you're always there. I take for granted that you just don't care. Sometimes I can't help seeing all the way through. So it almost sounds like he's going through the motions of like thinking like, you know, this relationship isn't going to last. It sounds kind of like a breakup song, but maybe there's something still kind of there. Like, you know how, like, I don't know if you know, but like, you know, like when you break up with someone, like you want them to like, you want them to be better. You want them to be happy or at least, you know, ideally <laughs> you would. Um, because in the bridge, he says, it's important to me that you know you are free because I never want to make you change for me. He's almost trying to accept that she's going to be gone, that she's moving on in her own life. He's going to move on in her own or he's going to move on in his own life. And he's ready to go their separate ways. Kind of like Journey. Think of me. You'd know that I'd be with you if I could. I'll come around to see you once in a while, or if I ever need a reason to smile and spend the night if you think I should. So it seems he's still trying to hang on a little bit. <laughs> so maybe she's ready to move on, and he's like, I'll let you go. I'm not trying to hold you captive. But, you know, if you, if you ever want to invite me over, if you ever, you know, want a reason to smile, I'll be there. I'm going to be right there. My dude needs to move on. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's just hanging on. <laughs> as far as I can tell, he's just hanging on. He needs to move on. It's it's healthier that way. Uh, great song, though. I really enjoyed it. Uh, you guys can join me on Twitter. You guys can join me in the comments down below. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. And uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.